What is going on guys? We are finally working on something again. We got the garage pretty much straightened out. There's still a lot more to do, but um, for now we can actually work on stuff. Well, I gotta get to this Honda of tracks behind me just because we got snow coming. I gotta figure out how to get a plow on this thing. I've never put a plow on a quad before. That's kind of not supposed to belong on a quad. So we're gonna have to figure it out, but it doesn't run. It's been sitting. Um, backstory behind this thing is uh, it is pretty rough. So um, it's painted red like with a roll brush, fenders are all cracked. Fenders are like pretty much destroyed. I found this thing on Facebook Marketplace like, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago now, maybe five even. Um, it came with brand new tires, still tires that came on it. Um, I use it a little bit here and there, um, but the dude, I don't know what's going on with all like the, I mean, the back rack, I got a new back rack for it. Um, I've got new rear fender, or no, I'm sorry, I got new front fenders for it, but not a rear fender. The rear fenders are like 800 bucks, and I don't know if I'm gonna buy one. Um, but they're all like roll painted with a brush. Like he's got these ratchet red wheels, and I mean, it runs good, or it did run good until I let it sit for a while, but um, the front rack is pretty nice. I never ordered one of those, but it looks like they had something to weld up here. But other than that, I mean, the thing ran really nice. Um, I just let it sit. And I bought it for, I think it was like 700 bucks or something from a guy in Indiana. I ended up driving all the way down there. He, or actually, he ended up, he was supposed to deliver it and uh, he ended up breaking down. So me and my dad had to go down and pick it up in the dark, never seen it yet. And this is when I got home, this is what it was. So I'm um, not that thrilled about it, even still for 700 bucks. Um, it's pretty cool, but um, we're going to figure out something to get going and get a plow on this thing to get uh, the snow removed off the driveway and help out any neighbors that need it. So we gotta pull the carb off, get the carb cleaned and go on from there. All right, so as you can see, the carbs up under here, we're gonna have to pull the gas tank off, get the seat off. The gas tank is full of bad gas. Um, I put new gas line on it, new filter, just a small little um, fuel filter there just to get me going. Um, but we're gonna have to change all that. So we're gonna get this sucker torn apart, get moving. Checking the air box here, see what that looks like. Eh, it's got some particles on it, but um, I don't see any rat's nests or nothing. So we're in the clear. We'll get that all unhooked and pulled out here. First look at the air filter in the light, and uh, <laughs> it's not looking too good, but I mean, it's still clean enough to clean enough to roll with. So we're gonna roll with it for now until I get a new one. All right, we got the uh, gas tank off. We've got gas draining. It doesn't smell good at all. So number one culprit, hopefully I'm going to pull this carb out of here. I don't remember how to get it out, but I'm going to get this uh, air box off and get this hose out of here and should be able to get this sucker right out. So we're going to see what it looks like in here. Hopefully it's not too dirty. All right, we got this sucker coming out here. I got the tube off for the breather. Air box is empty. We're going to tear apart this sucker. I still got this thing draining. It's not really efficient but oh well we ain't gonna get a gas all over our fingers and stuff so it's working we're gonna pull this sucker apart on the uh, bench and see what's uh messed up in it all right just cracked her open see if we can get it off here whoa yeah she's got some crud in her <laughs> that ain't good Clean out those main and pilot jets here. Get the fuel in there, make sure you screw out of here and get her going. All right, I just shot carburetor cleaner through the whole entire carb. Um, the whole, the all the holes are clean, but I'm still gonna go through and clean off the top of the stuff and shoot it again. Um, I'm gonna go through and clean up all these. I wish I had a, an actual cleaner, but I don't. So we're gonna have to just stick with what we've got. So I'm gonna go through, clean up these. I'm gonna do it one more time and um, you'll see me assembling the thing again. Okay, we got the carb all together. Um, I ended up dropping the needle float um, pin and uh, I ended up, felt like it was eternity to uh, get this sucker back together. But we got it. I don't know what's going on with my light right now, but um, yeah, we're gonna get this sucker back in. See if she'll fire up. All right, so it's a little dark in here, but we got the carb back in. Everything's hooked up. We are about to put the uh, gas tank back on get the air filter back in and see if this sucker fires there is a battery in the back but uh, it's completely dead so i'm gonna have to kick start it but let's get everything put back together and see if the sucker starts gas is in we're gonna switch this sucker to on 
start the flow process here. Let's see if we got any leaks. Let the bowl fill up. I put the fuel and air mixer screw back to it was like two and three quarter or uh, one and three quarters. I don't see any fuel dripping out. It's a good sign. All right, let's uh, get on this sucker and start kicking. All right, so my battery's dead, so nothing's gonna turn on here. But we're gonna flick those on. If I remember right, it was it would never run, or it was too much fuel, so on the second notch here. So we're gonna flick it over to the first one. Get our thing out here. All right, this is gonna be kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna spin it around. All right, I got her to go. She's idling pretty good. Alrighty guys, well we got the Vortex running. It's not, I mean it's running fine. It just has some tune-ups we gotta do. I gotta figure out maybe the air and uh, fuel and air mixture screw. Um, other stuff like that. Um, we're gonna do front fender, rear rack, lights, you know, figure out that stuff. I'll get a new battery for it. So um, I don't know, there's just kind of little stuff to do. Next video on this thing, we're gonna have to get the plow underneath it just to make sure we can get the plow on. Um, I still gotta, I still have the parts anyway to do everything, but I just wanna have the plow on to get going. So. It's getting cold, it's middle of December, and um, we have a lot of stuff going on. So um, I need something to plow the driveway with, and this is all I've got right now, and it's gonna work fine. So a little two-wheel drive quad, um, I don't know, foot of snow will probably get through it. Um, I'm not sure if it will stop it. But other than that, we're gonna have some other projects coming up, um, more on the garage, more on the pole barn, I mean. I ain't calling the sucker a garage, it's a pole barn, and I'm excited about it um and uh, other stuff like that so this is our main product we got to get going and uh get moving so um i did change the i've been changing the name back and forth we're going to hicks, uh, hicks fabrication i think um just something simple um i do want to get into fabricating and stuff and get some other tools and everything like that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with that stuff so um a lot going on but um i know you guys will stick around just enjoy the video so other than that guys it was awesome seeing you guys again it's been a long while since i posted other than my garage stuff but um, we're going to get moving everything that was going on, but we just didn't have enough time. So it worked out, but we're seeing you guys next time here at Hicks Fabrication and another project or another thing going on in the garage. So, all right, guys, see you next week.